Hey guys, it's Crows here, and this is the July installment of the Modern Warfare 3 Information Hub. What I'm just doing is taking all of the information which is being confirmed throughout the month of July, putting it into one succinct video just to quell some rumours, or, you know, hopefully boost up some rumours in the case of this video. So what I want to start with is quickscoping. Now we all know this is being confirmed, but I just want to quickly glaze over this and just say that Robert Bowling, in an, in an interview with a German gaming company, or, or a German media company, has basically flat out said there will be quickscoping, there will be no bump, there will be no sway. I know a lot of us know this, but I just really want to just throw this out there and say quickscoping is back, and I know that's something a lot of you feel very strongly about. So that's one massive thing which has been finally fully confirmed. Staying on the subject of snipers, what I want to talk about quickly is customizable sniper lobbies. Now when Robert Bowling was asked about quote unquote dedicated sniper lobbies, what he said is that it's up to the player. Now what this leads me to believe is that there will be a lot more private match customization in Modern Warfare 3, allowing you to limit guns, choose what perks are allowed. So for example, when you're doing pro mod or something like that, you'll actually be able to say, right, you're only allowed to use the, say we're taking it back to Quad 4, we only, you're only allowed to use the bolt action guns, um, you're only allowed to use, say, the AK, the 74, you, you can limit stuff and you can limit what perks are allowed. And I think that's a really good move forward and that's something which I'm, I'm elaborating, but he said it will be up to a player whether there will be sniper lobbies, whether there will be full customization. So that's something to bear in mind and it's something I am really looking forward to. Next, what I want to talk about is the thing which mostly ruined Modern Warfare 2 and is something which Robert Bowling says has changed. Now, we probably all, you know, we're thinking back to Commando, we're thinking back to the melee system, and the melee system, Robert Bowling has said, has changed. There's changes in it. Now, we don't know what this change is. This change could be that the knife is an equipable item. You can't just, you know, slap down on your right uh, analog stick and, you know, a knife will pop out of nowhere. It, that's what I want. I want to see a massive change like that. Or it could be something as simple as you can only knife by pressing B. Um, you know, tactical will be the new default layout or something like that. So we don't really know what change there has been, but we do know there has been a change. For all we know, the only change to the melee system could be that Commando has been removed. But I would really like to see a massive change in the melee system, and although that isn't confirmed, that's something I suspect might have happened. Because when you talk about the melee system, you're talking about the whole game mechanics behind the melee. And that's something which hopefully, hopefully, hopefully will be changed. Now I want to move on to the penultimate thing I want to talk about in this video, and that is Call of Duty Elite. Now, what a lot of people were really afraid of is that not having Call of Duty Elite, not having COD Elite will really hinder your experience. Now, in the interview with this German media company, which I referred to earlier on in the video, what Robert Bowling said is that not having COD Elite will not hinder your gameplay experience. There will be no visual multiplayer advantage whilst not having Call of Duty Elite. Um, what all Call of Duty Elite is, is some other options which won't really interfere with your gameplay but will help you improve your gameplay. That's what's been said and that's all Call of Duty Elite is and the one thing which I'm really looking forward to about COD Elite is things like the way you should be able to ban cheaters, you should be able to ban glitches through COD Elite. It should make glitching happen less, cheating happen less because you can easily report people through COD Elite. And something else which was mentioned and has been mentioned quite a few times in the past is that you can do things like create a class on the fly, um, you can track your stats and stuff online, all of that will still be free. So that's the most important thing to take away, but all, quite a lot of the features on COD Elite are free and you actually get a few more things for free which we wouldn't have had before. So Quad Elite is not a bad thing, in my opinion it's a good thing. So the final thing I want to touch up on this video before I end it, is to do with the design philosophy for Modern Warfare 3. Now one thing Robert Bowling has said is what they want to do is create a COD 4 number 2. They don't want to create a Modern Warfare 2 number 2. Now by creating a COD 4 number 2, what they're hopefully going to be trying to do is promote more gun and gun gameplay. And what they're going to try and do is make air support support. Now in Modern Warfare 2, air support felt like the main way of getting kills. Air support wasn't support, it was just, you know, full out, let's kill everybody with this helicopter and stuff like that. So one thing they are really trying to do is take it back to COD 4 standards and try and promote gun and gun gameplay a lot more. Now one way they are hopefully going to be trying to do this is by making things like smaller maps, even though if you're on a smaller map you should get more kills with your air support, um, by being on a smaller map you'll be able to run into more encounters and hopefully get in more gunfights and stuff like that. So one thing Robert Bowling said is uh, there will be more smaller maps, um, the objective game modes have changed. So by changing the objective game modes, hopefully what this will do is make people want to go after the objective more and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really interesting their design philosophy. What I'm going to recommend you do is you go and look at the interview over on their website. What this talks about is to do with um, the way they haven't changed anything on the spawn system and stuff like that. And um, 
this is basically a summary video of that interview so what I'll do is I'll pop that in the description you can head over to the website and watch the whole interview but uh, this is a lot shorter than the interview hopefully so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video just as much as you will enjoy that interview of Robert Bowling so yeah if you've enjoyed this video could you please remember to give it a like and favorite it helps me out a lot and I will be doing another one of these for the month of August uh, the main reason why I've started this series is because what I'm finding is what a lot of people do what a lot of fellow commentators do is they upload a video talking about one topic. They'll upload a video just talking about quick scoping. They'll upload a video just talking about dedicated sniper lobbies. What they never seem to talk about is um, just everything from that month in general. So the reason why I'm doing this series is because I haven't really seen it done like this before. Another reason why I'm doing this series is to do with the month of August being a big month for Modern Warfare 3. And instead of me like uploading a lot of individual uh, videos, like commentaries talking about something, I can just upload one video, get everything I everything I think out there, and I can upload you know some of the trailers and stuff like that in this video. So that's the main reason why I am doing this series, the two main reasons why I'm doing this series. And like I said, if you've enjoyed this video, could you please remember to like and favorite it. My name is Craze, and I will see you at the end of August for the next part. Goodbye.